Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news. We've got CitizenCon updates, some ticket drama, the last overdrive phase is now live, a massive update has been made to the Alpha 3.23 Wave 1 PTU, there's an extra referral bonus on at the moment, and we take a quick look at a variant of a Maroc, maybe one of the Boyd's, one of the new birds. Let's take a look at the Star Citizen newsletter and sort of add some extra context to it as we go. CitizenCon 2954 will be touching down at Manchester Central on October 19th and 20th. Tickets to the event are now available to purchase. Act fast to secure yours before they're gone as the countdown to CitizenCon 2954 starts now. So I was acting super anxious about getting tickets for CitizenCon. I was super grumpy with uh, concierge and subwaves of the tickets sales for, for premium tickets because they had they had two types of ticket they've got normal tickets and premium tickets premium tickets get you a few little extra things and queue dumps and access to uh, a little area but it's, it's nothing major it's sort of like it's pretty minor upgrade but it's it's another like hundred dollars now they sold out instantly those premium tickets and yeah uh, i was very very sad however they only sold out in the first few waves instantly and zin had to deal with me being make a complainy because Oh, I was really annoyed about it. I have now since got myself a premium ticket and I've bought Zin and her partner um, tickets, normal tickets for CitizenCon as well. So we'll all be there and I'll see everyone there. And at time of recording, there are still standard and premium tickets available. So I don't like the, the sort of FOMO to do with this. I, it, I don't know. It, it does just... It triggers my anxiety and I get sort of like, oh, I need to buy one of these. It's a bit artificial scarcity, very uh, FOMO orientated, right? But, you know, it's part of marketing. There was a little bit of drama with ticket sales beyond that as well. So CIG have changed the venue restrictions to 18. Previously, it had been age restricted to 13 as long as you were with an adult. And uh, some ticket buyers hadn't realized that CIG had changed that just before the ticket sales had gone live. As why would you read something again after you had already read it? Uh, apparently, some people were denied denied refunds initially because they they said um uh you're no longer allowing uh, people in that i thought you were gonna allow in um and cig had apparently said no no refunds for those tickets but that does now appear to have been resolved i saw um immediately the silo and people were like no no uh, check your pms I, I, I doubt that's right and things like that so um i believe that people that bought those tickets not knowing the venue had changed its age restriction now are able to get refunds if you are affected by stuff like that contact customer service that hopefully will be able to help you but yeah there are still tickets available i would expect tickets to be available for probably the next week i don't know how many tickets are available that's one of the other things the sort of annoying things is i it's hard to tell exactly how many tickets of each kind there are so just bear that in mind i would expect a uk event even though it's going to be the biggest one they've ever done it's harder to get people to the uk UK residents, uh, UK star citizens, they don't tra want to travel much. They don't want to attend as many conferences as, uh, compared to Europeans and Americans and stuff like that. So sort of bear that in mind as well. Yeah, that's just an observation. On the live servers currently, Overdrive Phase 5, the resupply section, the final phase of Overdrive is now live. Now, there are rewards associated with Overdrive missions if you complete them all. Um, and, and you do need to group or, or at least uh, a couple of people really to do some of those missions with um, because um, they're, they're relatively difficult or you have to take out a large amount of ships or you have to run around um, and get data from multiple sources but if you want to get a uh, upgrade to the f7a from the uh, f7c mark ii uh, if you want to get a rental of the f7a mark ii and you want to get some xeno threat armor then you need to complete that i believe before alpha 3.23 goes live now that might have changed a little bit because uh, Clan Imperium put a Overdrive Initiative Phase 5 update out saying, Hello everyone, hope you're all having a great weekend. We're observing issues with Phase 5 of the Overdrive Initiative and that became evident on the live servers and we wanted to let you know that we've been monitoring your experience with this phase very closely. We're putting together a strike team to resolve these issues for the upcoming Alpha 3.23.0 update to ensure there's ample time to complete Phase 5 with the fixes. We'll be extending this phase's completion date. We'll have have more details once 3.230 is live but we wanted you all to rest assured that if you're unable to complete this phase currently you'll be able to in the new update thanks for your patience and we'll be right there alongside you to kick xeno threat to the curb so it does sound like actually beyond the release of 3.23 you're going to have time to do some of these overdrive initiative missions now so i expect that you've got between two and four weeks to get these done before 3.23 launches to live and 
they decide to sort of end the overdrive initiative. We do have things like Fleet Week coming up in May. They plan to run the Xeno Threat 1.2 updated dynamic event. I still try and get them done as early as possible. Talking about Alpha 3.23, the latest Wave 1 EPTU patch added a huge amount of stuff. So previously we'd had some big economy updates, but now they've just gone, bam, have master modes, operator modes, combat and flight updates. So let me summarize some of the important bits here in the latest patch. So there's a huge amount of updates. Um, all ships fly differently. They've all had new tunings and stuff like that. Uh, there's loads of changes to the IFCS sort of flight systems. Nav mode, SCM mode, these sort of master modes are in. Um, you hold B to change from SCM to nav, um, and then you left click when um, your quantum um, drive is spooled and we're in nav mode um, to, bam, go go to go to that thing that you're trying to quantum travel to. Uh, middle mouse switches operator modes, so from guns, missiles, um, sort of salvage mode, mining mode, quantum travel, based on the modes that your ship actually has and the, the weapons and stuff that it has. So obviously that's a marked difference with quantum travel being there. You can now use precision targeting, which is um, left alt and right mouse button, and that will zoom in on the target, and then you can sort of select parts of a ship and you will basically paint the target and aim there. This is going to have you very accurate, but significantly reduced in your fire rate. Almost all weapons are now gimbaled as well. There are changes to gunnery, ESP, tunings. Um, you can um, cycle sub-targets with R. Um, expect some more changes to keybinds and stuff before we go live, though, as Clan Pyram are working out what's best. We're going to have to do a whole new Start Here Star Citizen guide. Why does CIG do these key changes? It is infuriating, but they are trying to get a set that goes, look, this is the um, core set that you need for Squadron 42 and a, and a solid Star Citizen persistent universe experience. And then we have loads of extra ones that you you need as well. And obviously you can bind a load of keys. There's so many key bindings in Star Citizen that you probably have never used and didn't even realize existed, but you go, well, actually that improves my life. I'm hoping when they're all done with controls changes and sort of defaults for them, that we're actually in a nice position where it feels relatively intuitive to use my mouse and keyboard to do stuff and I can switch from in between that and a HOTAS and all my other little button pads and loop decks and game glass stuff. There is a referral bonus scheme going on at the moment until the 2nd of May at 2pm UTC. Um, basically if someone uh, signs up to Star Citizen using your referral code and then they buy a, uh, I believe, a ship pack, I think it has to be at least of like $45, $40 or something, um, then you both get a little P-52 Merlin snub fighter. You, you both get that. That's an additional to the usual rewards. And yeah, I, I think that's cool. Jump Town as well. That's still on until the 15th of April at 8 p.m. UTC. So you've got a, a little while based on when you see this video uh, before that ends if you want to get involved with Jump Town. I'm much more looking forward to Jump Town after 3.23 has sort of been released because all those FPS improvements are significant and will really make the game feel a lot better. Something interesting. From this week's sneak peek from the newsletter, there was a bird. Uh, it looks like a Marok, but it's got feathers and little tiny hands. So is that just a variant? Or is it something new that's not called a Marok? Um, I, I, I didn't realize that there were such significant variants. I suppose that's not a huge variant. They look pretty similar um, to the other Maroks I'd seen on Hurston. But yeah, biome specific ones make sense. Do they technically have different names? But they're all part of the creatures and boids sort of thing. Boom! That's it for your Star Citizen updates today. I am really excited for 3.23. They are getting the rest of those features in there now. They are uh, pushing ahead with trying to get that out for April still, I think. Um, it's either going to be April or sort of between April and mid sort of May um, for that 3.23 patch. Have you been playing in the Overdrive Initiative events? Have you been able to complete them? Are you having problems with um, Phase 5 or are you having problems with some of the other parts? Or are you planning to binge that sort of over the next couple of weeks? Are you going to be going to CitizenCon or just watching it live from your home or even just watching a summary after the event? Whatever your thoughts or questions though, chuck them in the comments down below. If you fancy getting NordVPN, that would be great as well. Got links to that below. It's great VPN. Best darn VPN we've ever advertised on the channel. It's really good. I use it. Maybe you want to use it too. We've also got a monthly giveaway for a F7C Hornet Mark II. 
If you want a chance at winning that sort of medium fighter, the new one, as well as a game package and lifetime insurance, just comment on any of my videos made during the month. And if you want to go the extra mile to support the channel, you can use those links under my videos. They're sort of affiliate links that get me money if you buy those things. But you can also use the join button under my videos, which really helps the channel. You get some exclusive content and that sort of jazz as well. But there's Patreon and there's direct donations and just sharing videos, liking them, subscribing to my channel. That all really helps along with commenting. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and a great April, and I hope to hear from you in the comments below.